Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. In this video, we are going to count some balls. More specifically, we construct a tetrahedron by stacking solid, identically shaped balls. This can be done if we stack the balls in a manner that in the kth layer from the top, the balls are arranged in an equilateral triangle with k balls on each side. Now let n be the total number of layers in this tetrahedron, which means that each side of the tetrahedron consists of n balls. If the total number of balls in a tetrahedron is 2024, what is the value of n, the number of layers? Alright, in order to solve this, we must find a general expression for the number of balls in a tetrahedron. And in order to do that, we must first obtain the expression for the total number of balls in one layer of the tetrahedron. So let us consider kth layer from the top. In this layer, the balls are arranged in a triangular manner, where each side consists of k balls. And if we count the number of balls, in the first row, we have one ball. In the second row, we have two balls. In the third row, we have three balls. And we keep going on. And in the bottom row, we have k balls. Therefore, the total number of balls in kth layer is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on, plus k. And this is a simple sum of consecutive natural numbers, where the result is also very famous. k, k plus 1, divided by 2. And with this, we can calculate the number of balls in the entire tetrahedron. We have to keep at this term, where k changes from 1 to n. This can be written as sigma 1 half k square plus 1 half k. And if we use the formulas for the sum of natural numbers and the sum of squares of natural numbers, we have first 1 half times sum of k squares, so n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1, divided by 6, plus 1 half times summation of k, so n, n plus 1, divided by 2, which simplifies to n, n plus 1, n plus 2, divided by 6. So this is the total number of balls in a tetrahedron. And we want this number to be 2024, so we have this equals 2024. And before we proceed, let us factorize this 2024 into primes. You can easily obtain that 2024 equals 2 cubed times 11 times 23. Therefore, by multiplying 6, we have n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 equals 2 to the power of 4 times 3 times 11 times 23. Here, let us focus on the fact that we have prime factor 23. Then we have 11, and we know that 2 times 11 gives 22. So we can write n, n plus 1, n plus 2 equals 22 times 23. Then we have 2 to the power of 3 times 3. And this part gives 24. So we have n, n plus 1 n plus 2 equals 22 times 23 times 24. Therefore, n equals 22. Therefore, if you construct a tetrahedron with 22 layers, then the total number of balls in the tetrahedron is 2024. And that was all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in another video.